Domo Amejin des. Back with another beginning Japanese lecture. Today, lesson 25, listing nouns with to and ya. There are、um, three other actual lessons after this lesson 26, 27, and 28 will be new material. And then 29 will be a kind of review for lesson 30, which, as you should know by now, is going to be the assessment, right? Every 15 lessons will be an assessment,、um, and we'll go through that assessment lesson. 30. So there are only really three、um, actual lessons after this one.、Uh, let's get into this lesson, 25. There's nothing really to review today. It's going to be short and simple. Our key sentence today is Kono koue ni tori ya e risu ga imasu. Okay? And our vocabulary the words for、uh, a few animals, bird and squirrel or chipmunk, tori is bird. Tori. Squirrel or chipmunk is risu. Risu. Okay? In Japanese, for some reason, squirrels and chipmunks are the same. <laughs> so they have the same word, risu. And then some、uh, foods here. Ringo. Ringo means apple. Banana in Japanese is banana. <laughs> banana. That's easy. And strawberry. Ichigo. Ichigo. Strawberry. And a new verb to buy, to buy something, kau and kaimas, kaimas, okay, kaimas. And then our two words for and in, in when you're listing things, to and ya, okay. I'll go into more detail on the differences between those two in the grammar section, which is right now.、Uh, let's start with to, okay. When you're listing nouns,、um, usually you'll, you'll do it with. To, okay, this and this and this and this. That and is to. Okay, this is an exhaustive list, meaning everything that you state in the list is only what you're talking about.、Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about a little later. A, to, B. A and B. The implication being there's nothing else, just A and B. For example, I can speak English and Chinese and nothing, that's it, but nothing else. Today's classes are math, Japanese, and literature. Okay, and only those things.、Um, you've learned in the past that to, when there's a noun followed by to, it means with that noun. Okay, with this person,、uh, usually a person. However, when to is surrounded by appropriate nouns, right, when that makes sense, then it means and, and it's a list of nouns, okay? Let's look at these examples. Rachel to bango han o tabemashita. The implied subject is the speaker, so you can say I in this case. I ate dinner, bango han, with Rachel. Rachel to. Okay? In this next one, we have to acting as and. Rachel to Tommy ga bango han o tabemashita. Rachel and Tommy ate dinner. And then in this final example, I'm using both types of to, okay? With and and. Rachel to Tommy to bango han o tabemashita. The implied subject is the speaker, I. So I ate dinner with Rachel and Tommy. Rachel to Tommy to bango han o tabemashita. Okay? It can get tricky, but、um, when you use this a lot, you'll really get used to it. Another、uh, warning you cannot use to to mean and with adjectives and、uh, verbs. Okay? Only nouns. You can only list、uh, nouns with to.、Uh, so, for example, these sentences. 昨日晩ご飯を食べましたと寝ましたと寝 is wrong. It just doesn't sound right in Japanese. 彼女はきれいと有名です is wrong. <laughs> I know you want to say that she is pretty and famous or well known, but there s another way to say that in Japanese that we will learn later. For now, just remember, to is only used with nouns when you list nouns. Activity one, complete the phrase これは、ん、です for each、uh, given situation. These are all words that you should know. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. 
Number one, we have a pencil and a phone, or a cell phone, if you want to say that. Pencil, remember, is enpitsu, and phone is denwa, or uh, keitai denwa, for cell phone. Um, so we're saying that this is a n and a n in Japanese. Kore wa enpitsu to keitai denwa desu. Enpitsu to denwa desu is fine. Number two, we have three animals here. A bird, a dog, and a cat. Kore wa tori to inu to neko desu. Tori to inu to neko desu. Okay. Uh, number three, we have an ambulance, <laughs> which you should remember is kyukyusha. Kyukyusha. I love that word. And books. Hon. Okay. Kore wa kyukyusha to hon desu. All right. Four things here. This first one we'll call a magazine, zashi. So number four would be, kore wa zashi to boshi to terebi to pasokon desu. Right? Terebi being television, pasokon being PC, uh, computer. And finally, um, we have a green shirt and a blue shirt. Kore wa midori no t-shirts to aoi t-shirts desu. Okay. Here are the answers in bold. Now let's talk about ya. Ya works very, uh, works pretty much the same as to. Okay, and they both can be translated to and, but ya has a different implication. Remember, to means only this and only this. That's it. But ya implies there's more to the story. Maybe we're not saying all of the things that we're listing. Okay. So, uh, A, ya, B. A and B, and some other things. For example, 英語や中国語はが話せます. I can speak English and Chinese amongst other languages. 今日の授業は数学や日本語や文学です. Today's classes are math, Japanese, literature, and some others that I'm not mentioning, but implying. Japanese likes to imply a lot of things. Activity 2. Describe what each person bought using the phrase nani nani o kaimashita. Nani nani o kaimashita. Um, I purposely threw in one noun that I haven't taught you, that should not be in your um, vocabulary uh, list, mental list, if you're going through these videos. So you're going to have to use ya to indicate that you bought these things as well as a third thing. Okay, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm gonna solve this right now. Number one, we have a banana, uh, an apple, and pizza. But you don't, you shouldn't know the word for pizza yet. Actually, it's really easy in Japanese. But uh, let's use ya to indicate that we bought a banana and an apple and a third thing or something else. So we would say, Ringo ya banana o kaimashita. Okay, using that phrase, I bought. Number two, we have a hat, pants, and a t-shirt. In Japanese, we would say, uh, ya t-shirts o kaimashita. Okay. Number three, a magazine, a car, and some scissors. Uh, in Japanese, we would say, zashi ya kuruma o kaimashita. All right. And number four, cake, a strawberry, and a pencil. Um, the answer for this one would be ichigo ya enpitsu o kaimashita. Okay, here are the answers in bold. And our final grammar activity, there isn't an answer slide for this because there are a number of different ways that you can answer these questions. I'm just going to give my answers right here, so be paying attention. You can pause the video and try it on your own if you want. I'm going to answer it right now. Uh, answer each question in Japanese based on the illustrations given. There are three illustrations here. Number one, kono machi ni nani ga arimasu ka? What is in this town? You can use, uh, for this question, you can use either to or ya. If you use to, you would have to list everything, right? So that answer could be ginko to, gakko to, toshokan to, ie to, supa to, eiga kan to, jimu to, kouen ga arimasu. But that is a lot of work, so most people just simplify it by using ya and list maybe two or three things. So, for example, you could say, 学校や銀行があります. 
or 公園やスーパーがあります。Alright, very simple. Number two. この農場に何があり、あ何がいますか何がいますかいます because we have living things here, right? Animals. And 農場 is farm, the Japanese word for farm.、Um, you don't know, you shouldn't know at least the names of all these animals in Japanese. So we should use ya and state the ones that we do know. I see a dog here, a bird here, and a cat. So we can、um, say those in Japanese and use ya. この農場に犬や、えー、鳥や猫がいます。Is a fine answer. And last but not least, number three. 何がありますか<laughs> 何がありますか What is there? What, what is here? What is、um, all these things? Well, it's various fruits, I guess.、Um, We know three of them that I can see, right? Here's a banana and an ichigo and a ringo, okay?、Um, but we don't know the rest. We shouldn't know the rest. So let's use ya to indicate what is here. You could say banana ya,、eh, ichigo ya, ringo ga arimasu. All right. And that would be the answers for these. Again, there is no answer slide. Listening practice. Listen as I read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. Pause the video if I'm going too fast and you need more time to write.、Um, I'm going to start with number one right now. Watashi wa Nihongo to Spengo ga Hanasemas. Watashi wa Nihongo to Spengo ga Hanasemas. The answer for that is. I can speak Japanese and Spanish. Number two. Kyo, ringo ya, ichigo ya, banana o kaimashita. Kyo, ringo ya, ichigo ya, banana o kaimashita. And the answer for that is Kyo, ringo ya, ichigo ya, banana o kaimashita. Today I bought. Um, an apple, strawberries, bananas, and some other things, right? Translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, take your time. I'm going to show the answers right now. The guy on top says, Boku no ye ni risu to tori ga imasu. So you know that risu means squirrel or chipmunk. I prefer squirrel. <laughs> And、uh, tori means bird. So, this translation could be there's a squirrel and bird in my house. It could also equally be in my house there are squirrels and birds, or there is a squirrel and a bird. Kind of ambiguous in Japanese. And then the lady on the bottom says, I bought a red hat, a black t shirt, and some other things. That last part, and some other things, should、um, give you a hint that she is using ya in a list. Okay? In Japanese, that would be Akai boshi ya kuroi t s h i r t s o kaimashita. Okay, remember, kaimas to buy. Kaimashita, past tense, bought. And we're back to our key sentence. Kono kouen ni tori ya risu ga imasu. So you know now, you should know that this means in this park, okay, there are birds and squirrels and other animals. All right, you're making that implication that there's not only birds and squirrels, but there are more than that. And our homework, our shukudai, what languages do you speak? Use this phrase, nani nani ga hanasemas, to state multiple languages that you speak. If you only speak one language, like English, if you're watching this in English,、um, then add Japanese to it. Eigo to nihongo ga hanasemas. Okay? And as always, there's a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. It's absolutely free, along with an answer sheet.、Uh, go to my website for that, link in the description. And that's about it, guys. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you in a future lecture.